Alright, you'll know when it's done because it's going to come back up and prompt you for another command, which basically means it's finished uh, whatever process it's working on. At this point, you can exit out of mobile terminal by either holding it and pushing the exit button or pushing the home button. It really doesn't matter. So you're going to go home, back to your home screen. Um, now, uh, you're going to have to restart it. You can't just respring it. So hold down power button, slide, and I'll be back when I'm starting back up. Alright, I'm rebooting now, and this should be almost done. And at that point, we are going to have um, BOCHS as an application installed on the home screen. And I will show you booting in to the two operating systems that it comes with. Okay, now that we're all the way back, okay, here we are on the home screen. Let's go all the way over, and you see this app here. It's like a little picture of a package, and it says BOCHS under it. Sorry, I really don't know how to pronounce that. Just open it up. Okay, and it says choose OS. Um, you're either going to choose... Windows 3.11 or Windows 95. I'd recommend if you're starting out and you really want to see some action, go with Windows 3.11 because Windows 95 takes about a half hour to boot up. Because it's big. So now we're going to go over here. And this is going to start booting into this PC mode. And it's going to boot into Windows 3.11. Uh, even this, even though it's much smaller than Windows 95, is extremely laggy. The mouse moves slowly, and um, it's not that's not that great. But uh, it's fun having an old Windows operating system running on your iPhone. So this comes up: Microsoft Windows version 3.1. And we'll just wait. This one does not take very long; probably about 30 seconds max. Come on. So in just a second, it's gonna the logo is gonna start changing colors, and it's gonna boot up onto the desktop if there is such a thing on Windows 3.11. Okay, so the sign is changing colors now. Right now, it's gonna start disappearing. And now it's going to boot into the desktop. You're going to see a little mouse emulation. Okay. And uh, running this isn't so great for battery life either. It's very, uh, it sucks up battery life pretty fast. Okay, so basically that's it. Uh, I'm not going to really go into detail on this because I'm probably run out of, running out of time on this video. But I'd like to go back and show, just to kind of show you um, booting of Windows 95. I'm not going to let it boot all the way because it just takes so long. But um, I'm just going to show you that I can boot it here. Bringing up the usual text, booting from hard disk, even though there is none. <laughs> Starting Windows 95, and there it goes. And it'll just stay like that for about 20 minutes. It might come up with some text in the middle, but that's about what it does. And then once you get to the home screen, you can... I've been able to do everything, getting uh, Microsoft News uh, with the internet and stuff. Um, getting... I haven't really gotten access to the internet yet. Um, you can log on to games, write documents, move the cursor around, use the start menu. Uh, it's pretty realistic.
Uh, so that's about it for now. And uh, if you have any questions on this, I'll be happy to help you. Email me at theappleguy582 at gmail.com or leave a comment to this video. And if this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to look for some videos coming soon. Um, I should have a... Um, should be one um, unboxing the PlayStation 3 soon. I'm expecting to get one of those soon. And maybe there will be one on um, uh, using SSH or uh, doing this Windows 95 thing on a PC. But for now, that's all I have for you guys. And see you later. Subscribe.